Ashley Benson posed on Saturday with her handsome husband Brandon Davis, wearing a low-cut, black, strapless gown. They were at a charity gala hosted by his grandma, the 38th Carousel of Hope Ball, which raised money for the Barber Davis Center for Diabetes, BDC, and the Children's Diabetes Foundation, was organized by event chairs Barbara Davis and Dana Davis at the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Beverly Hills, a Hollywood mainstay since 1978. The occasion presented Jimmy Jam with the Brass Ring Award and Diane Warren with the Inspirational Lifetime Achievement Award. Gladys Knight and Jason Derulo entertained the audience, along with Riley Arnold making a special appearance and other performers Luke Kay, Anne McKenzie, Annie Bosco, Ashley Benson, Barry Gordy, Carter Kench, Ed Begley Jr., Janice Dickinson, Josh Flagg, Kathy and Rick Hilton, Kelsey Bascom, Linda Thompson, Nicole Avant, Nigel Lithgow, Stephen Nadorisic, Suzanne DePasse, Ted Sarandos, and many more were among the other special guests. In addition to the more than $115 million that the carousel balls have raised to date, this year alone saw an amazing $1.9 million raised by the ball. Leaders in the entertainment, media, business, and medical fields gathered at this year's ball to promote diabetes education and raise money for the Barber Davis Center for Diabetes Clinical Services and Research. The occasion honored the groundbreaking work, groundbreaking discoveries, and seminal moments in the history of the Barber Davis Center for Diabetes. In addition to all the amazing things the center has accomplished and advanced in the field of diabetes treatment since its founding in 1978. Diabetes affects more than 463 million people worldwide and is rising quickly. About 64,000 Americans receive a type 1 diabetes diagnosis each year. About 30,000 of those are kids. MC David Foster opened the event, welcoming visitors to the evening before he showed a video message from Barbara Davis thanking people for coming, which was met with tremendous applause. Everyone who has ever been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes and their families may fear infinite disappointments, uncertainty, and the unknown, said Dana Davis as she took the stage to discuss the progress made thus far. But now that they have all of you, they can hope. Hope for a longer life, a cure, improved therapies, prevention, and a cure. These are all, in my opinion, boundless possibilities, which is why this ball is known as the Carousel of Hope. Presenting Diane Warren, a well-known and multiple award-winning songwriter, with the Inspirational Lifetime Achievement Award, was David Foster's second appearance on stage. Warren responded, You know who deserves a standing ovation? As he accepted the medal. Dana Davis, Barbara Davis, and all the others who are devoted to the fight against diabetes. It's them that merits a standing ovation. Jimmy Jam, the Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, songwriter, and diabetes activist, received the Brass Ring Award from Terry Lewis and Max Harris. I've seen the word hero used a lot tonight, and I just want to start by saying that you can't spell the word hero without H-E-R, Jimmy Jam stated in a moving moment during his speech. So let me begin by introducing some of the H-E-R-S in attendance tonight, beginning with Barbara Davis. Barbara, you have my sincerest gratitude for creating a home for my family, and I at this lovely occasion each year since Max's diagnosis at two years old. You have supported and been a friend to our family. In addition, while we're talking about H-E-R-S, let's not forget about Dana Davis. We had a really great time spending time together earlier today. I want to express my gratitude to you for taking something that may have been tragic and turning it into a step closer to finding a treatment. Diane Warren's song, The Journey, by singer Mackenzie open the evening's musical acts. In honor of Barbara Davis's 94th birthday, David Foster, Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis, and the crowd also serenaded her with a performance of Happy Birthday. Eight-time recipient of the Grammy Award then came Gladys Knight, who sang Midnight Train to Georgia. Neither one of us wants to be the first to say goodbye. I've got to use my imagination, and best thing that ever happened to me, Luke K surprised everyone by performing his new song, One Shot. Jason Derulo, a multi-platinum singer and songwriter, performed What Cha Say, Savage Love, Laxed Siren Beat, Trumpets, Talk Dirty, and Wanna Want Me to round off the evening. A Dolly Parton-signed rhinestone-encrusted guitar, a four-night tropical island getaway at the Four Seasons Resort Maui at Wailea, 
a 10-day Galapagos getaway expedition for two aboard the National Geographic Endeavor 2, a three-night stay at the spa house at Rancho Valencia Resort and spa with pickleball lessons and massages, a Yume sculpture by visual artist Daniel Mazzone, and a pair of Roberto coin diamond earrings were among the items up for grabs during the live auctioneer Haley Bearlet event. Pro dancer Riley Arnold of Dancing with the Stars took time to tell her tale of being 16 years old when she was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes three years ago. From that moment forward, I wanted to make sure I didn't let it hinder my life, and I would only take the life lessons I learned from type 1 diabetes to drive me to become an even better person and to become more motivated to fulfill my objectives. Arnold stated in reference to her diagnosis. In order to inspire someone who has just received a type 1 diabetes diagnosis and to prove that the condition should never prevent someone from pursuing their dreams, I also vowed to myself that I would always speak out against the disease. It'll only make you stronger, which is why I'm so grateful for the opportunity to be sharing my experience with you all today. Dexcom presented the 2024 Carousel of Hope Ball. Support for underwriting came from Sanofi. American Airlines, the official airline of the Carousel of Hope, and the Beverly Hilton graciously contributed additional support. Variety served as the sole entertainment trade journal sponsor and media partner for the Carousel of Hope, while KTLA served as its exclusive local television media partner. George Schlatter returned to produce the program, and David Foster also held the position of music director. Quincy Jones and Clive Davis served as music chairman. Sponsorships, dinner tickets, a live and silent auction, and contributions were used to raise money for the event.